so far, I think the game's going phenomenal. I mean, you look at the score, 27-7. Our guys definitely came out this week ready to play and to, to make a statement. I think they're doing that. And I think if you look around, we have a great environment going on here. We've got the gridiron tailgate going, which is something new for DePaul. We've got a lot of alumni back involved. And I think overall, we're going to have a great season. Some depth, and we use, and we use yeah, the depth. Yeah, I Like they, I have a lot of respect for them. They're, uh, I think they're number two in their state or something. But uh, we came out there and we did what we had to do. And uh, it's scary when we do that. It went well. We were practicing, uh, passing all the week. Slants were open, the phase were open, everything was just working for us. I think we finally played to our capability. We didn't come out last week to play. Today we came out like a team that uh, I knew what to play like. Maybe we finally got it. This team. When you all mesh together, when you stop worrying about yourself, when you start worrying about the team, you guys are going to be a force. Because that's what you showed today. They're ranked number three in their state, number one Catholic school. They beat the number five team in the state last week, 42 nothing. I don't know if you guys realize what you guys did. You put up 49 points against a good freaking team and you shut down number four. After a tough loss last week, zero turnover state. And uh, I thought both quarterbacks played great, but you know, one got really hot and I just rode him. But both quarterbacks are young, but they're very talented. I mean, when we needed to run the ball, we ran the ball well and used the clock. Joe Moreno played great. He played great. Every day of practice, we got to work like this so we get this result. Let's go. State's on three. One, two, three, six.